Hey, welcome back to the Deborah Peters Show, and thank you so much for being here today. I really appreciate you. Give me a thumbs up if you like my content. Definitely subscribe, and right next to the subscribe button is a little bell, and when you hit the bell, then you'll get notified of all of the new videos that I'm bringing forward. So today's episode is all about creating and mapping your future. And this is so important because typically what happens is we wake up in the morning, people wake up in the morning, and as soon as they start coming into that waking state, they start to think about their problems. Turn on their phone, if they even shut it off, they start to look at their phone, they get up, they go to the bathroom, maybe you get some coffee, and in your mind you're just rolling around everything that you experienced yesterday, last week, last month, what, what's on your plate today, what you have to get done, and now you're rolling into your email. Maybe you're looking at your Instagram account, you're looking at, you're scrolling through Facebook, you're, you're perhaps you're turning on the news, you're going into this unconscious state where it's just repeating the same habits from yesterday. The problem with this is you haven't put any attention into creating your future. And you certainly are not in present time because you're in the past feeling those same feelings. When we look at past experiences, when we look at problems, for example, the negative emotion that goes along with those problems, the fear, the doubt, the sadness, the anger, the resentment, whatever it happens to be, actually gets into our circuitry in our brain and it gets into the body and the body starts to take on these feelings. And so now we're creating limiting beliefs because we've had these past experiences and they've been painful. So now we start to look at the entire world from this perspective, that it's a pattern in our body, it's a pattern in our mind, and now we start to project that into this brand new day, this brand new day. Every moment when you wake up is a brand new day filled with infinite possibilities. You could choose any thought you want to think, but instead you're looking at your problems and you're looking at the past wrongs or the ills of the world or the economic predictions in the news or the political turmoil or whatever happens to be going on that you're giving your attention to. And essentially you haven't given your attention to creating anything new. So this episode is all about giving you the tools to be able to map your future. And I'm making a business case for meditation because this is the key to get the numbers moving forward in your business, to get your team performing at higher levels, to actually start to move toward a powerful outcome or series of outcomes that you would like to experience. Because the thing is, your unconscious mind, your being really doesn't know the difference between reality and symbology. What does that actually mean to creating and mapping your future? Well, if you took even 10 or 20% of the energy that you put into lamenting the past, thinking about your problems, the hurdles that you have to jump through, the over the hoops you have to jump through, if you took 10 to 20% of that energy and you put it into focusing on what your future, you'd like your future to look like, your entire life would transform in a very, very short period of time. If you took, as a team leader, as a company owner, if you took that attention of how someone's not performing or 
how the numbers aren't adding up and you put it into creation, you would see your company turn around. It may not happen overnight, but it would certainly start to show traction. And this is really all we really need. Once the traction starts to show itself, then we start to build off of that. If you go back into my previous recordings, there's a video all about how when we think thoughts, our neural pathways start to grow in the energy of those thoughts, kind of like a sprout coming up out of the earth. And so then eventually it starts to develop into a thicker stalk and now it starts to put out leaves and now it starts to sprout more stalks and more branches. And you know, you know what I'm saying? This is a great metaphor for how the actual neurology works in our, in our body, in our brain. It's, it's how we're wired. So if you take the energy that you would normally put on looking at the past and looking at the problems and you start to visualize what it is you would like to create instead, then now you can start to actually develop new feelings for your body, in your body. You can develop positive beliefs. You can develop joy and happiness and anticipation and enthusiasm and inspiration instead of those old negative emotions of fear and doubt and anxiety and resentment and whatever it is that you have been allowing yourself to focus on because it really just is about what you're allowing keyword <laughs> yourself to focus on so as you condition your body your body holds on to these feelings and going back to my point about not knowing the difference between symbology and reality when the body starts to embody negative emotion, limiting beliefs, scarcity mentality, it doesn't really realize that that's not real anymore. It, it just holds on to it and it becomes a pattern. So it becomes a memory in the cells of the body. And then the body starts to shut down and not function the way it's designed to. When this happens, your body can, can go off and have a heart attack, even if nothing new that's negative is taking place. It's all based on past programming. Your body could go off and have an anxiety attack, even if the, the experience you're having in the moment really has nothing to do with the past. You see, this is how we, we drag into our now, our past negative experiences and our pains and our suffering and our struggles. And we drag it into now and we focus on it. We think about it, we stew on it, we talk about it. You know, I always have been teaching this concept in my training programs there's this there's the experience you have that's negative or or impactful in a negative way and then there's the story that you keep telling that is all about something very different than the actual experience that you had so you can have a negative experience maybe it's a negative encounter with someone or conversation and then you keep telling that story to all your other friends about how horrible that was. And now you're actually reliving something that if you would have just let it go, you could have taken all that energy and focus and you could have put it into creating and mapping your future in your mind. Because mapping your future isn't really putting it all on paper. That's another step. Mapping your future starts with 
repatterning your cells, repatterning your mind, repatterning your body. How are you going to do that? If you're so conditioned and you've been conditioning yourself and you keep conditioning yourself to focus on your problems, how could you possibly repattern all of that negativity out of there? Well, this is my business case for meditation. Just imagine for a moment if when you're starting your day at the office in your business with your team, you started it with a quick 10 minute meditation and you did it together. How powerful would that be? Because what happens in meditation is we actually disconnect from all of those old negative patterns of thinking. We stop focusing on the anger, the doubt, the fear, the resentment, the grief, whatever it is you happen to be going through. And then with that, we disconnect from the feelings that have been anchored into our body. And we go into this space of nothingness. When you're in a space of nothingness, now it's like you've hit the reset button. You've paused. You've created a pause in all of the negativity. And when there's a pause, it's like, a suspension in air and now just like on an electrical cord you know they have those little red and yellow buttons where you can click the reset and then poof, the power starts to flow now you can really truly connect to the truth of who you are and that is that you are infinite possibilities and whatever you focus on you create because the body, the unconscious mind, doesn't know the difference between symbology and reality. So now you've got this pause, you've got this suspended state of a clean slate, a brand new beginning. And in this place, now you can start to visualize outcomes you would prefer to experience numbers you would you would prefer to have coming into your business team performance and engagement that you would like to have going on now you can take those visuals and you can go into the feeling of that it's not enough just to visualize it's also really really important to take that visualization and to ground it, to anchor it in as a feeling. Imagine what it would feel like to have your greatest month ever, to surpass any numbers that you've ever done in the past and to really truly celebrate that. Get into that feeling. What does that look like? What does it smell like? What, what is it? conjure up in you how does it how does it affect your posture and does it put a smile on your face i've come out of a lot of meditations with a big smile on my face because i've put myself into a state of what it is i'm creating instead of dragging from the past all of those negative experiences of lack and limitation and then connecting to them and now I've let that go and I'm now manifesting, I'm now visualizing, I'm now feeling the outcomes that I would like to experience. And that's really the key here. When you get into the space of visualizing and feeling those outcomes, that is the manifestation. And therefore, the actualization on the physical plane in your physical touch reality has to actually happen. Think about it. If you don't believe me, just think of all the things that you feared that showed up, right? So look, do this for yourself. You don't have to believe me. You can, you can actually test it. I double dog dare you to test it for the next 21 days. Sit down every day, meditate, 
Then when you get into the office, have your team do a meditation. Do it together. Why not? Why not, right? If what you're doing is producing the results you're getting and you don't like the results, then why not try something new? And so just to kind of share with you um, a personal journey of mine in actually going through this process, I remember when I first started meditating, oh my gosh, it was the hardest thing to do. I would sit down, I was just like so mechanical about it. I'd sit down with my phone and I'd set the timer and I'd go through this breathing exercise and I, you know, I was just like, like this digital process. And, um, you know, like any habit that you're creating, after I did it for a while, it just was like, then I started to relax into it and kind of just let it come over me. So, yeah, you know, it's really about giving yourself the, the space and the repetition. I had read once that if you have this meditate, do the exercise of meditation at the same time every day in the same chair, then you you know your body starts to build up these memories and obviously yes because of everything i just said to you because when we do anything the same way enough times then yeah absolutely it becomes a habit and so rather than get up in the morning and go through all those typical habits that you've been doing that you probably don't even think about you just automatically do them get up in the morning and do something different Look, if, if you want a different result, if you want things in your life to change, you have to change things in your life. If you want things in your business to change, you have to change things in your business. And before you go dismantling everything and creating this big change, start with you. Start with the connection that you have with your higher self that has the capacity for any possibility. Anything is possible. Okay, so lastly, I just want to leave with you that as I was going through that process, then I would obviously be visualizing more than just during my meditation, but there was a disconnect between visualizing my outcomes and actually feeling what it would be be like what it is like to experience that big outcome so that was my next leg of the journey was to not just see it because I was really good at that it was about connecting to the feeling and so what I have found with my clients is that getting them to meditate in the morning to where they they hit the pause button that's the that's the portal right there. That's the portal into creating instead of repeating. So that's my show for today. I hope this helps you. Definitely share this with your tribe. Thank you so much for just being here and, and all the support. And uh, I really look forward to connecting with you again tomorrow. So ciao for now.